So given that that was sort of a test, let's um, let's try it here with uh, no motor, boat just floating here in this little bay. And I'm sorry if that was unlistenable to the other the other video, but uh, I'll leave it up. This is the way I am. Um, so another t set of topics I wanted to talk about, and I'll just touch on them. One, endorsement gate. The Bernie supporters that are, you know, upset with Bernie for endorsing Hillary. Um, it's good that, you know, Cornell West, for example, would endorse Jill Stein. That's all fine. I am worried, you know, that Trump might win. I'm, I'm support Hillary, you know, even though I'm, I don't like her like nobody does. But I do believe you should do what you feel best and burn your best. I've heard good arguments for it. I'm not going to panic. Uh, well, yeah, I won't panic. I'll be worried. But if, if Trump wins as a result of anything like that, that's fine. It's part of politics. Better to uh, do what you think is right. But let me just explain why. You don't throw Bernie under the bus in your heart. Uh, progressives in the Democratic Party, if they could even exist at all, this is how you have to exist. That's the eagle. Um, you you have to at some point. It's, yes, you have to be difficult to work with, which Bernie pulled off, you know, to compete against. Great, he was able to say, "Look, you sold out to the big banks. I'm not saying you're a bad person. It's a system. Uh, it's a bad thing, but you know." Maybe you're doing the best you can. And then to compromise with them and get her to concede on things like the $15. Now, she's at least in the education, a better version of education, public option. She's made these concessions. Now, will she do them? Probably not if she doesn't have to. But if push comes to shove and she knows that she could turn to them and get support, this is the kind of compromise where you get things like this. Like, for example, you get someone like Nixon expanding affirmative action, whether you agree with it or not, it seems ironic that people like that, well, that's how it works. You get a, a welfare to work program from a Democrat. You get, you know, um, civil rights from a conservative. So uh, because of a certain kind of compromise, and you have to prove that you can't still be throwing bombs in after you've lost. You have to be mature enough to realize you've lost and say, what can we get for the part we didn't lose? And so Bernie did a good job at that. And if you're not into that, then you don't understand why Bernie caucused with the Democratic Party all these years. You just don't get it. Uh, he's maybe too mainstream for you. He maybe is too practical, but really he's a sweet spot of getting things done. You know, whereas um, Bill Clinton is sort of a sore spot. He also got some things done for liberalness, but by undermining liberalness and got more conservative compromises done. Maybe ones that had to happen, but I'm not as thrilled with that as, as with what I think Bernie can push. And I think Bernie in, in the Senate, co having cooperated with the next president, hopefully um, will be something now. I also think that Hillary is somewhat unelectable. And if it was anybody but Trump, she would be losing. If it was Jeb and people like that, I believe she would be losing. Um, and now she's neck and neck. Can she pull it off? I don't know. I think she has a certain amount of loserness in her campaign wise, and I've only seen her uh, win sure things. That's not fair. I was a little surprised she pulled off New York. Somebody did some focus groups. But, um, so, um, that's on endorsement gate. Um, the other thing is just about this ongoing social justice warrior. And even in this game, I'm playing people go cuck, you know, and call each other cuck, and this whole thing's becoming a thing. And it's like, you guys sound like whiny. What's your complaint? You, you say, you men, you don't have equal rights. You don't like that people are saying you're like a rapist because you're a white male, but you say black males should talk more polite because, you know, they cause more of the crime. Well, he caused more of the rape. I mean, how is this, how are you not just, you're, you're, I support feminism. You're not like feminists. You're like the feminist subculture you're complaining about. It's like you're, you need a safe space or something. Right. 
So, and then the last thing is that, you know, I want to talk about race a little bit and how it is okay to have ideas about race. It's important to understand the difference between species and race. And the main thing I just wish people would understand is this, I, a lot of people in the extremity are going, well, you just got to face it, you know, whites have a higher IQ as a group, and Asians have an even higher IQ, and da da ba da ba But if I'm supposed to think IQ is so important, why would I want to carry some, you know, 80 IQ white guy? Well, because you and he add up to higher than all the black guys. Yeah, but the high IQ black guys and me add up to an even way, way higher, 20 and 30 points higher, right? I could make a selection at whatever threshold. Why? If, if IQ is so important, why would I want to race segregate? I just IQ segregate. And that goes for any other criteria that you have. Hatchimness or anything you wanted to make up or any bullshit or, 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 or semi-legitimate criteria that would make my race as a whole average out better. I could just take the people that have that criteria, and guess what? If I did that, it would be a multicultural situation. And guess what? That's what I want. And guess what? I'm not stifling a desire to be with people like me. You don't get me. I'm a mutt. I'm mixed, and I like mixed situations. You're not going to change that. You think, oh, I'm just lying to myself. I'm denying reality. No, I don't trust other individuals until I know that they're trustworthy and have good character. And you can't tell that by race. Sorry, you cannot tell that. You can't tell that by race. So I tell it other ways. I'm judgmental with other much more rational 21st century ways is what I would maintain. So the eagle's still there. The other one flew off, though. No, no, the other one's still there too.